Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. We're looking at the new Jet Trooper from Star Wars Battlefront 2, Gaming Greats, Black Series, exclusive, whatever. Um, exclusive to GameStop in the US, uh, EB Games Zing here, and uh, where else? I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, this is number six. We still haven't had number five release, which is the uh, the Knight Brother, uh, the Dathomir Knight Brother. So yeah. All right, here it is, and this is a cool looking figure. I, re I just really like the look of this one. Really nice and accurate to the uh, trooper from the game, Battlefront 2. Um, and also made an appearance in season seven of the Clone Wars as well, um, helping Rex out with that final battle. Um, now Hasbro's gone back and used the original clone trooper mold, um, you know, with the pins in the legs and the shoulder and the elbows there, sorry. Uh, slightly retooled in the back, as so you can have the uh, jetpack mounted. And uh, pretty sure this is just a um, repaint or, you know, re remold of the uh, the Mandalorian one uh, that came out on the Mandalorian and the Mandalorian Loyalist. Because, um, yeah, they do have the little pegs there, notches for the Mandalorian armor. So that's fine. And it fits in nice and tight. Uh, looks okay. Um, I don't know if it, I can't decide whether it's too big or or what. I think it, I think it looks fine. Um, I just feel like maybe they were a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe a little bit more sort of between this and uh, like Bo-Katan and Cosca Reeves jetpacks a little bit in between there, but that's fine. Um, it looks good. Actually, looks good on the trooper. So I'm really happy with this one. Um, interesting thing too is. With the head, they've actually included one of the newer heads as opposed to the solid solid helmets that used to come on the original sort of sculpt of the clones, which was just, yeah, solid, solid bucket. Because, um, yeah, they've got the head sculpt underneath it. And, uh, but yeah, it's actually really nice. It's, it's, it's strong. It's not misshaped. I know there's been a few clones that have sort of come out um, that just haven't quite, I don't know. <laughs> There's a really, the helmets have been quite soft um, and have somehow some sometimes like just sort of warped a little bit in the packaging. But this one looks good. It looks really good. It's nice to sort of see the black brow stripe appear on this one as well, which is great. They've gone for that realistic style as opposed to the animated one, which is some of the clones have been getting uh, recently. But yeah, it's a good one. I like the markings. Uh, just comes with this blaster pistol, which again is accurate to the game. Um, if you get a jetpack, you don't get a big gun. <laughs> That's just how it rolls. But yeah, the blue, the blue flashes all over this figure is really, really nice. Another, another figure for the 501st ranks, which is great. He's looking good. Paint ups on the helmet are pretty solid. Zoom up have a nice look. Nice and clean. Pretty pretty nice and even. Everything's nice and tidy there. Jetpack, shoulder bells. I'm digging it guys, I like this. I like this one. It's a good addition to gaming greats. Um, I guess the major bummer for us here in Australia is these are priced at $55 now, as opposed to the standard Black Series price of $45, which is just seems to be creeping up. Um, and then we're getting deluxe figures, which are $60 now. Um, so yeah, it's starting to get a little bit high, being a little bit pickier with which ones I pick up now. Um, well, I haven't been picky, but I'm gonna have to start being picky, you know? Because um, yeah, I'm definitely debating whether or not to pick up Zalbar, which is another game in greats. Um, but yeah, it's another $55 figure, so it's may not be for me. We'll see what happens. Um, I'd like to see it in person, actually, just to sort of see what it looks like. And probably go and check out some more reviews, but um, yeah, the great thing about this one is, you know, it's, a, it's another trooper. You can go and get a couple of these, and you know, if you can get them for less than $55. <laughs> um, you get a couple of these and have a little have a little squad of jet troopers. Um, you've got plenty of spare weapons from other clones. You know you can change it out, give them a bigger blaster. Um, just mix them up a little bit. I think that's I think it's really cool. But yeah, I'm digging this one. I think he looks great. The helmet sculpt is just fantastic. I think it looks 
probably one of the better ones. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same sculpt as the uh, the other releases, but uh, given the black line, I think that I just that sort of black brow brow line. I don't know. There's just something about it. I don't mind it without them. The clones that they've put out, like the 332nd, I, they look fine without it, but um, yeah, it just adds a little bit more, doesn't it? There's just something about it. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below if you like this video. We've got plenty more coming. Always trying my hardest to put out multiple multiple videos a week. I'm aiming sort of for three or four tops. Sometimes sometimes I do five or six. Um, depends what depends how the week is. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking it out. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up and uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future releases on my channel very very much appreciated again comment below and uh i'll see you all on the next video so until then may the force be with you always